hello everyone so this is another post from one of my patrons so the objective of this uh, episode is uh, to implement in a way to when I hover my mouse over one of these objects highlighting them like this when I put my mouse cursor over them you can see these objects are kind of highlighted so that's the part I'm going to do today and after that I'm going to when I click on them they will be kind of zoomed into here and then I can inspect them so those are the things uh, first I'm going to implement this part and then maybe not in this episode maybe in a later episode I'm going to do the inspection part all right and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron okay so first uh, I have imported this trophy object and uh, let's create something like a table to put those trophy objects and then I'll put it like this I think it should be a little bit bigger um yeah wait uh, instead of putting it like this I think I'll put I'll create a blueprint let's call it an actor blueprint pp trophy uh, now let's call it pp yeah trophy would be good and then oh maybe a better name would be bp inspectable because this is going to be some object we can inspect so here i'll add that trophy model like this and I think this should be a little bit bigger so let's make it two times than this and let's put it here like this now let's have couple more instances of the same object now I have set the game mode to game mode and in this game mode actually I don't get a character just this mode so I need these objects to have some kind of a shine when I click on them or when I when the mouse hover over them so for that um, I'll create a new material like this um, maybe we should let's do it like this trophy M is actable. I'll name this as color, and so let's make it other than uh, another color, maybe something like. so that we can clearly see them on the table yeah oh, but they look ugly I know that matters I 
okay. this color is better right now we need a way to make them like uh, we need to give some emission when they are selected so for that we can do something like this for this uh, emissive color we can uh, using some function using this fresnel <coughs> this friction fresnel node and multiplying it with the color I'll call it uh, selection color let's make it uh, like pink and let's see what happens if I connect this to MSU color now you can see there is some kind of a emission glow around the object let's see how it looks here okay now it looks kind of like selected um, but not exactly so we need to enhance this effect So let's add a multiplier for this. MC multiplier and I'll make it like five. Oh now this whole area get the effect that's not good so okay for the base reflection faction uh, we need to use constant vector um, but it's still not good so yeah so we get this uh, kind of like blue because uh, some emissive component uh, this emission is present in this area as well uh, and we need to avoid that so what if I promote this to a parameter or if I make it zero it's like this one as I increase it you can see the edges push to the the emission is pushed back to the edge <coughs> but still we haven't got rid of the glow in the middle so okay let's add a if branch here and this should be should go here a is this if a and for the B uh, let's just use it as B so if A is uh, larger than B then this would be the output otherwise uh, constant 0 would be the output uh, this should be a float so I'll add a component mask only for the red channel right now you can see uh, the emission effect is applied only around the edge so what happens if I oh. yeah now I can control the edge And also what happens yeah let's play with this parameter oh. oh it's not likely to go more than 
right i think we need to if i make it zero no okay this should be uh, this looks like a good balance yeah this is better and not enough okay i changed the values to like this b is 0.4 and msu multiply is 50 and exponent in is 2 so with those values it looks like this and uh, that looks fine to me now let's add another parameter now here uh, let's multiply this uh, with well we don't really need an extra node um yeah let's add an extra node that's better And I'll promote this to a parameter I'll call it select third okay and if the selected is zero then it will look like this if selected is one it will look like this okay so for now I'll keep it as zero as the default value now these trophies looks like this now the next thing I want to do is when I'm in the play mode this should highlight when I when my mouse is cursor is above there so but we don't really have the cursor there that's because we are in a like sort of like a first person controller where we don't see the cursor okay so how do we have that kind of a controller well um, let's create a player controller controller menu so here I'll show mouse cursor enable click event enable mouse over events I don't need touch events but I'll just leave that too okay and uh, how to assign that player control so uh, for that uh, I'm gonna need to create another game mode where is it game mode base hmm. menu and for the player controller I'll use player controller menu okay now here let's first see if we have collisions for this okay it is right and now select the trophy and on begin cursor over 
let's skip both event we can cursor over and then cursor over get the mesh set material para scalar parameter value the parameter name is selected it should be one for this case and zero when the cursor is passed over that object let's see if that works right it is working see okay now the next objective is uh, when I click on them uh, then this object should kind of zoom into somewhere like here and then we can rotate and inspect that object all right so i'll stop this part at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club the link would be in the description below and thanks for watching See you in the next episode. Goodbye.